biggest um, moment for me to sort of understand uh, in greater context of what he, he was doing is that um, at IS we had a lot of uh, IS would annually send field trips of kids to I, uh, to Erie because Erie was such a uh, gem uh, in terms of a, a of a place an institution where uh, they're doing something important and I remember. I think I was in fifth or sixth grade at the time, and uh, we took a field trip to Erie, and um, uh, they were brought to the auditorium, and they were given um, a film to, to see of Erie, and then my father spoke, and I think that was, at, at that point, I really sort of, it was sort of a defining moment, an epiphany for me that, uh, that my father was really something uh, special and uh, doing some really good work because uh, it wasn't until I saw the film and uh, put it in the context of what was going on at Erie and going on a tour that I finally figured out because for us while we were growing up, Erie was more of a place where we would ride our bicycles around all day in the fields <laughs> uh, and uh, we would just uh, stop by the uh, canteen for donuts uh, uh, and then maybe stop by our dad's office and say hi. and. And then we're off again to ride our bicycles all day long. Now that I have a greater appreciation of uh, the impact of his work, uh, I think that uh, uh, he, you know, he struck me as someone who was um, very uh, low-key, uh, very um, humble, and um, didn't really want to boast about his work a lot. And uh, he, uh, I think, went about his work very quietly uh, in many ways because uh, he was uh, doing uh, a lot of things sort of behind the scenes. Uh, but we knew that, um, uh, I, I, in retrospect, I should have realized this because we, we uh, had uh, visiting Erie, uh, an entire cast of uh, scientific all-stars, if you could put it, uh, some of the best uh, agricultural research scientists would uh, make uh, a pilgrimage to Erie to visit and uh, view and uh, review the work here. And uh, we would always have a chance to meet them because um, these uh, scientists would come to our home and they would sit with my father on the porch and, uh, and a lot of times we would sit right next to him while he was having a scientific discussion with, uh, it could be Norman Borlaug, it could be um, Sir Otto Frankel, or Sir Ralph Riley. Uh, all these luminaries uh, would come by and, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I should have realized that, uh, you know, there was a good reason why all these uh, famous scientists are coming by to visit Erie all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I, for me, as I grow older, I, I find that I'm getting more philosophical, and that's what I'm starting to really appreciate. You know what my father and all the other fathers uh, accomplished. You know, because you get more of a world view on things, and uh, know what the ramifications are for the world's population. So, um, you know, and and that's how I really appreciate it. But growing up, you know, we probably didn't get a full feel for how important the work was because. A lot of scientists uh, went through their about their work very quietly and modestly, and it was actually for me more. You know, I got a sense of the importance of their work more through some of my classmates and their parents. These classmates, uh, their parents would work for the Asian Development Bank or World Health Organization, and when when they found out that your parents were working for Erie. But they say, oh, Erie, okay, we'd like, we'd like to come visit and, you know, talk to your parents or come for a visit. So for me, it was more coming from an external stimulus. So. Yeah, Erie, uh, you know, amongst the, um, the students at uh, IS uh, was considered a sort of a, a intellectual powerhouse. Uh, uh, all these very highly motivated and well-educated uh, parents. Um, you know, uh, I think that our relative isolation here uh, compared to the city also uh, 
lent itself to less exposure to some of the materialistic aspects of living in a big city. And so uh, I think that uh, uh, we had a lot of that benefit from not having been exposed to a lot of the urban problems that uh, some of our counterparts at IS had to grow up living in uh, Makati at that time. What was the driving time in those days to the American school or IS? It was about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes uh, back then. Uh, but initially, um, we didn't even have the expressway. We used to take the old highway to uh, Manila uh, and uh, we would go through Muntin Lupa and we'd have to go through these. Uh, we basically drove on uh, two, a two-lane road, one way each way. And, um, but back then, even then, uh, traffic was not that bad. We could make it to Manila, uh, to IS, in an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, clearly, um, the expressway improved it, but then I think the, traf the volume of traffic rose to meet the, uh, the capacity of the expressway.